It was a cool fall day in Dragonvale, as today was the first day of fall. Celeste woke up to look outside her bedroom window, and she could see the leaves on the trees changing color. It's the first day of fall. It sure has been a wonderful summer this year, Celeste said, as she opened her window to breathe the smell of autumn air. The air is crisp and the weather is chilly, Celeste said, as she shivered when the chilly breeze blew at her. Celeste got dressed and put on a sweater that her mother had years ago. Ever since Alana died, Celeste loved her sweater. She walked out of her room and into her herbal garden's classroom. She sat beside Lydia and Haley as they were friends. Nice sweater, Celeste. Wasn't that Alana's from when you were little? Lydia asked, noticing Celeste's sweater. Yeah, it is. I found it in the basement and watched it a couple days ago. And since today is the first day of autumn, I thought I'd wear it today, Celeste replied. It feels really soft. It's chilly now that summer is over, Haley said. Thanks. I am sad that summer is over, but I know it will be back again next year, Celeste replied. Good morning, class. Today is the first day of autumn. We'll be talking about the stuff in fall that we're looking forward to, the herbalism teacher said. After Celeste finished her first class, she and Lydia had a free period to do whatever they liked to do. So they headed outside for fresh air. So Lydia had her sweater on as the girls stepped outside. Look at the leaves, Lydia. They're changing colors on the trees already, Celeste said, as she and Lydia looked at the trees and saw that the leaves had changed color. You're right, Celeste. Look at them, Lydia replied. Since autumn is when leaves fall from the trees and the weather gets chilly, you said it, Lydia. It sure feels cooler today, Celeste said. Then Mastavia showed up in his wagon. There's Mastavio. Hello there. Hello there, ladies, Mastavio said as he hopped out of his wagon. Beautiful day, autumn day, isn't it? It sure is, Mastavio. Any mail today? Lydia asked. Why, yes, I do. A postcard for Lydia, Mastavio said, as he handed Lydia her postcard. Thanks, it's from Lila. I wonder what she says, Lydia said. Then she began to read her postcard. It says, Dear Lydia, I am at the apple orchard in your hometown. There is an annual autumn festival being held. There is a lot of stuff to do there. Plus, I got to pick some apples and got to make apple pie. I wish you were there with me too, though. You would have liked it along with Celeste. It reminds me when we were kids. Our parents used to take us there every year. Hope you're having a nice autumn day. Love, Lila. There is an autumn festival in your hometown? Celeste asked. Yeah, remember you went there as a kid with me and Lila? We sure did have a lot of fun. There were a lot of fun things to do at the festival, Lydia replied. Oh yeah, I remember that. It was awesome, Celeste said. Hey girls, Jack and Robert called out to Celeste and Lydia as they were carrying two baskets with them out of the school. Hey boys, what's going on? Celeste asked. We're going to go pick some apples. Want to come and help? Robert asked. We're going to have apple cider, applesauce, and apple pie. Count us in. We want some of that, Lydia replied. Yep, the apples are ready to be picked, Celeste said, as she and Lydia joined Robert and Jack in apple picking. While in the forest, Celeste, Jack, Robert, and Lydia were picking apples in the orchard, which it wasn't far from the school. The apples were ready to be picked. Now these are really good, Celeste stated while picking a few apples. We could make apple cider when we get back, Jack said. I love that idea, babe, Celeste replied. And we can make apple pie with it and applesauce, Robert suggested. A great idea, Robert. I like it, Lydia said. As everyone picked the ripe apples from the orchard, their baskets were full of apples. As they left the orchard, they all headed back to the school with baskets full of apples. There were so many apples that they decided to make recipes with them, such as applesauce, apple cider, apple jam, and even apple pie. The staff at school made for food and they served it to the students at breaks and lunchtime. After lunchtime, the students at the school loved the apples that they were put into everything, and they sure had a nice autumn day.